Hello everyone, my name is Natasha, I'm from Russia and we are struggling here. My husband Francis is not getting paid for months and a half already, so I was trying to get a job, but I have a baby and nobody wants me, so what I am I what I'm doing right now? Oh my god, Ichich! So what I'm doing right now is I'm selling my stuff. So first thing it's going to be these crazy illegal brand new jeans. Why illegal? Because they're from, from Pulling Beer. This store is left Russia. So right now it's kind of treasurous and dangerous at the same time. It is crazy tight. I bought them one year ago and I was hoping to lose some weight, which uh, did not happen. Uh, and yeah, they were stuck in my in my wardrobe for a year. And yeah, I decided it's it is the time for them to leave my wardrobe. And they're like kind of weird, you know this. And I took some pictures. I'm gonna show them right now this this and this and i'm gonna put on this website we have in russia avito.ru yeah let's hope for the best okay so the quality is really bad but oh my god i got the money Oh my god, 900 rubles, so I can go grocery shopping. <laughs> this is like the happiest I've ever been in the past two weeks. This is so cool to hold the money finally. Oh my god, I'm gonna like grocery shop everything from this store. <laughs> ah, this is so cool. Oh my god jeans fitted her really nicely and i was so happy because previous two girls were like too too big for them and i was like damn damn not today but hell yeah <laughs> okay maybe i'm gonna take you grocery shopping not maybe i will okay let's go Okay, I'm actually so happy to be in the store. For me right now is the happiest place. Oh my god. So let's take oatmeal. Yeah, let's take oatmeal. And next what? Bananas. Oh my god. Bananas. 140 rubles. I cannot live with these prices. You see, it's it was half of the price two weeks ago. Half of the price how we can live at these prices seriously and they are so green and by the way we cannot grow bananas in russia so what are you saying no bananas soon it is not a big problem but i mean bananas i love them and let's see how much four bananas cost now we need to find a number and in the price oh my god next tomato just two yeah let's take two tomatoes two tiny tomatoes and see the price actually jesus oh my god almost 60 rubles for two tiny tomatoes it's like pack of porridge or two tiny tomatoes. Should we stop eating fresh produce? Yeah, I think so. Because this is impossible. Yeah, let's take rice. Rice, it's quite, it stays quite cheap. 99 rubles. It's okay for me. It's quite okay. Let's take the cheapest one. The best one. Oh my god, let's just stop for a second because this 
this is the best thing that ever happened to my son because he loves them and i gladly spend a lot of money on this thing because yeah he loves it what can i say and what we have like seriously nothing it's just for one meal i'm just <laughs> i just can't see this price of tomatoes i'm i'm so sorry but it's impossible okay i'm just gonna talk probably That's really embarrassing to go here with the flash. Okay, it's quite Not impossible to listen so with this wind, so really let's happy. make her silent. And while she's trying to find the right word, I will say a couple of things. First, what I was talking about here is that I'm crazy happy about food because money is rare thing in people's lives here in Russia. It is hard to earn and even hard to spend money. And to be honest, I got really sad and angry while looking at myself. Why this 25-year-old girl is getting so happy about these ordinary things, which is supposed to be normal. And I'm not even talking about poor people who have to flee their homes and run away from the country. Like, why political problems are even touching people's lives when nowadays you can talk over about everything? Like, everything. The scariest part is that it is not over yet and it's getting even worse every day. So, I just would like to tell them, please stop. Please stop all this and deal with your own country first. Help your citizens, us.